The heart is the engine of the body, and if the engine is down, the whole body will be down. So what do you do for your heart? Eat foods that will improve your heart's health? Research has shown that there has been an increase in deaths linked to heart disease. But this can be reduced if people eat foods that will reduce the risk factor of cardiac conditions like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high blood sugar, and obesity. In this video, we'll round up five diets that you can eat to keep your heart healthy. Number one, consume more of fruits and vegetables. You have probably heard that you should, quote, have fruits and vegetables if you want to lead a fruitful life. Well, there is an absolute truth in that saying. Eating fruits and vegetables is very important for a healthy heart. Not all foods are good for the heart, and consuming them exposes and increases the risk of cardiovascular disease, but fruits and veggies are very healthy. Adding fruits and veggies to your meals is an excellent way of protecting your heart because they contain vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, fibers, and plant compounds that are good for your heart. Interestingly, these nutrients are not only good for the heart, but other body parts. For instance, vitamin C, a common nutrient in most fruits, can slow the arteries from hardening or atherosclerosis. This same vitamin C is important for tissue growth, development, and repair. Medical experts have said that those who eat fruits and vegetables stand a lower chance of developing heart diseases, like heart failure, heart attack, stroke, heart muscle disease, rheumatic, valve, pericardial, coronary, and peripheral heart disease. So what nutrients are there in fruits and veggies that will benefit the heart, and what fruits should you take to have them? Number one, fiber. Fibers are important nutrients to the heart, and most fruits are fiber rich. The dietary fiber in fruits and veggies lowers the chances of stroke and diabetes, which can, in turn, lead to heart disease. These are two kinds of fiber, soluble fiber in fruits and insoluble fiber in vegetables. Both fibers improve cardiovascular health, but the one in fruit is soluble fiber and the vegetable is insoluble. Some fruits that contain fiber including apples, bananas, oranges, and strawberries. Some vegetables with fiber are tomatoes, carrots, potatoes, onions, green peas, and broccoli. Number two, vitamins. All vitamins in fruits and veggies can help your heart health. Vitamins A, C, E, B6, B12, and folic acid help the heart in many ways. These vitamins have supplements, but it would be better to get them directly from fruits and veggies. Examples of fruits and veggies with vitamin C are avocados, mangoes, guavas, lemons, cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli, and red cabbage. Number three, minerals. Minerals like magnesium, potassium, iron, and sodium are found in fruits and vegetables and are excellent for the heart. Magnesium regulates blood pressure while iron is good for blood circulation. Apricots, figs, avocados, and kiwis are some fruits high in minerals. Vegetables that contain minerals are spinach, kale, and lettuce. Number four, carotenoid. Eating watermelons, tangerines, tomatoes, grapefruits, winter squash, and other fruits and vegetables containing carotenoids will help your heart remain healthy. Beta-carotene and lysopene are good sources of carotenoids and will help your heart health. Number two, whole grains. Whole grains include wheat, oats, barley, sorghum, rye, corn, and quinoa. If you care about your heart, you should eat well to protect your heart, and grains should be a part of your diet. Grains contain heart-friendly nutrients like carbohydrates, phosphorus, magnesium, iron, vitamin E, folate, thymine, riboflavin, fiber, antioxidants, selenium, and some plant compounds. In fact, it has been medically proven that eating whole grains can lower the risk of cardiovascular disease. If you eat whole grains, you're doing your heart and your overall body good. Whole grains contain nutrients that can help the heart lower blood pressure, bad cholesterols and insulin levels, and increase good cholesterol levels. Any grain of cereal that has any of its parts removed is no longer whole and not so good for the heart. For instance, refined grains like crackers, cakes, and pastries do not have germ and bran. Here are some whole grains you should include in your diet for a healthy heart. The first, oats. Oats are rich in soluble and insoluble fiber, vitamins, and minerals. The beta-gluten in oats works by lowering cholesterol, thus reducing the risk of heart disease. Steel-cut oats, oat groats, 
and rolled oats are kinds of oats that are excellent for cardiac protection. The second, corn. Corn is a common whole grain eaten globally. There are varieties of corn, however, whole corn are the most nutritious. You will find fiber, vitamins, zinc, manganese, potassium, phosphorus, copper, and antioxidants in whole corn. The fiber and antioxidants prevent and protect the heart from heart conditions. The third, millet. The whole grain is rich in calcium and fiber. The fibrous grain helps digestive health and the heart by reducing bad cholesterol levels. The fourth, whole grain bread and whole wheat pasta. If you're a bread lover, you can eat whole grain bread instead of non-grain. The idea of eating whole grain bread is so that you will not be limited to just grains that can have various grain products. Whole grain pasta is produced from whole wheat pasta, although the fiber in whole wheat pasta is less than those in wheat, barley, or oat. You should pick a whole grain pasta instead of the conventional one with less fiber. Number three, eat healthy fats. Saturated fats are the kind of fats that will harden at room temperature. They include butter, yogurt, lard, full fat cheese, and fatty meat. Fat that does not solidify at room temperature is unsaturated. Fat from vegetable oil, nuts, and fish are unsaturated. Those are the healthy ones. If you want to maintain a healthy heart, you should avoid or limit your consumption of saturated fat because the health implications can be a heart condition or stroke. Saturated fats are known to increase your blood cholesterol levels. Too much cholesterol can cause the development of plaque in your arteries. This can result in coronary artery disease. Unsaturated fat can be mono, meaning one, or poly, meaning more than one or two. Avocados, olives, peanut butter, and nuts like almonds and hazelnuts have monosaturated fats. Polyunsaturated fat can be found in walnuts, flax seeds, and sunflowers. Fish is also a good source of polyunsaturated fat and contains omega-3 fatty acids. Some fish rich in omega-3 fats are salmon, mackerel, herring, bluefin tuna, black cod, and sardines. Reports show that monounsaturated fat and polyunsaturated fat increase high-density lipoproteins, which is the good cholesterol, and reduce low-density lipoproteins, which is the bad cholesterol. You should eat fish two to three times a week to keep your heart healthy. Number four, choose low-fat protein foods. One way to maintain a healthy heart is to eat protein as foods that are low in fat. This is because full fat protein sources may contain saturated fat, which is not healthy. Eggs, dairy products, meat, legumes, poultry, and fish are good protein sources. Protein is good for your bones and muscles. Eating protein-rich foods will always satisfy you. Your metabolism will speed up, your blood pressure will drop, your weight will reduce, and your oxygen transport will improve. It is evident that protein has a lot to offer, and there are many protein-rich foods. But it is not okay for you to eat all kinds of protein as foods. Some proteins are full fat, while others are low fat. If you're particular about your heart health, look for low fat protein foods, which include lean meat, fish, poultry, eggs, legumes, soybeans, low-fat milk, cheese, and yogurt. You should reduce or avoid the consumption of organ meats like liver or kidney, bacon, fried meat, hot dogs, and the whole or full-fat milk. Number five, reduce the intake of sodium. If you really care about your heart, try reducing the sodium you consume. The main source of sodium is salt. Almost always we season our food with salt to add flavor, but don't give in to the need to add a lot because doing so will raise your risk of heart failure. High sodium intake can lead to an increase in blood pressure, which is a major risk factor for heart disease. When the body has too much sodium, it retains water, which in turn increases blood volume and places additional pressure on the walls of the blood vessels. Over time, this can damage the blood vessels and increase the risk of heart disease, stroke, and kidney disease. As a result, the American Heart Association recommends that adults consume one teaspoon of salt per day, or approximately 2,300 milligrams. While you can control the amount of salt you add to your foods, you cannot control the amount in canned or processed foods. If you're interested in your heart, you should avoid canned or processed foods. Instead of salt, you can add herbs and spices, canned foods with less salt, seasonings with a bit of salt, and condiments with less salt. In addition to consuming vegetables and fruits, low-fat proteins, whole grains, and healthy fats,
You should also reduce your food portions, quit smoking, limit your alcohol intake, plan your meals to include healthy food ingredients, and exercise often. You should take your heart health seriously, especially if you have a family history or are already exposed to the risk of heart failure.